Hi everyone, I'm Wilsonator and welcome back to RimWorld. That's right, we're back here in uh, Kongatro Oasis. And uh, yeah, last time uh, we had a big old battle here, didn't we? We had all those elephants and uh, do we actually have any elephants left? I mean, uh, yeah, over here, I guess these are our elephants. Yeah, Billy, Ben and Barry, They're the only ones left. We had seven uh, last time and they all died. Uh, horribly to our own dynamite uh, <laughs> So I am uh, sorry. It's been a few days since the last video. Uh, I haven't really been feeling too great uh, I'm still not feeling a hundred percent, but uh, I thought I'd, I'd give it a shot and uh, Kind of see how things go. So yeah, we had that big battle. We also started uh, Making psychite tea. Uh, we've got a bunch of psychoid leaves and uh, a little bit of tea here. Tanya I believe is you can see uh, drug policy Tanya is on this happiness policy, which means uh, that she takes uh, psychoid drugs, uh, I believe it's twice a day? Oh yeah, there's a little thing that I, uh, I've i been looking at as well. I'm not 100% sure how this works, this loadouts thing here, right? But you can like create loadouts for people and I believe that what it does is it means they'll try and keep this stuff on them as much as they can, basically. So you can put weapons on there, you can put meals uh, drugs uh so you can make sure that they keep certain things like this like keep any medicine five of them so that'd be a really good thing especially for our doctor and also it'd be a great way to just make sure that people grab stuff without us having to really micromanage everything that they grab uh so yeah crow has been hard at work building this wall um which we would like him to keep doing uh, and I guess we're gonna expand it. The other thing I want to try and do today actually is I would like to try and start getting these guys some actual uh, Buildings try and get some some houses built uh, and actually make this into a proper village rather than just one building uh, So I'm actually gonna start maybe planning that out a little bit here. Let's try and just get I guess we get our first little house here go for um, Four by five. I mean pretty big house for, for for like one person right um i mean we could get two of them per house so al and patonis our new newest colonists or should we get our oldest colonists in there first let's get crow oh no crow should get his own house because crow is a bit of a badass uh, i think you know what tanya and jess uh you guys will get this uh this house here okay uh where is tanya's bed whose bed is that tanya's that is tanya's i remember all right tanya oh no that's tanya's i guess this oh there's jess's bed um all right so we can get these two beds in here what we could do to make it a little bit nicer is we could get a nicer type of floor uh rather than just going for the standard wood floor uh we could go for like a fine wooden floor uh what does that give in beauty it gives three versus zero what about totemic boards? Three. What about animalist slab? Broad. Oh, that's actually a big old thing. Uh, 30. Oh, I should do that. I should give them an animal, an, am uh, 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 an animalist slab. Oh, we could go for fine steel tiles. Exquisite metal tiles made with no compromises for expressing economic status. Slow to construct. They are three. Also three. Totemic slab. Uh, oh, uh, we've got oh, this one. I like this one actually the totemic slab. I guess we'll go for underneath it we, uh, uh, You know what for now? We'll just go for a standard birch floor, right? We could always replace the floor if we want to get something a bit better and You know, what? we're gonna go for the birch totemic slab, right? Let's just see how this looks. Okay. We're gonna go build one of them for now oh, Fuck off are you kidding me? I, I sped up time for one second and Jerry's already getting fucked up by another hyena. Jerry! I thought I told him to stay inside. Get up. Oh, P Patonis. Uh, shoot. Careful not to shoot Jerry, but shoot that fucking hyena, please. Please. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Please. Oh, God. B be careful. Punch it. Uh, fuck. Be careful. Punch it. I mean, it's probably very hurt, right? I mean, not really. EMP slugs, not really much. Go on, Jess. I don't even got one arm. Yeah, just destroy it. Okay. Are you good? Ah, uh, not really. <laughs> Do you have a bed? Uh, that's a medical bed. Why don't you go and rest there? 
and Tanya can help you out. Uh, so someone was saying we need to get rid of the uh, predators on the map. There is another one here somewhere. Oh, it's a lion. Yeah, you can see on the map uh, the red little uh, paw print thing. It's a means it's a predator. So you have to try and take out the predators because otherwise uh, they get hungry. And for some reason, there's all this other prey. I mean, there's a fucking ostrich here, but they want to go for Jerry the tortoise. Apparently, he's just the prime meal. Uh, that's not, like he's on the menu, ready to go. Uh, stop. Oh, these guys are fighting. These guys have been fighting non-stop, by the way. I'm just saying. I don't know what, what their problem is, but they really, really don't like each other. Crow, where are you? Oh, you're actually building. Man, Crow is just such a hard worker. Look at him go. All by himself, he's just building this massive wall around this thing. Um, I would like to kind of build this, but I don't think you really want to. Where are you going now? Oh, you're going to recruit the prisoner. Okay. Uh, exhaustion. Al. Oh, you really tired. Oh, Al is like, yeah, Al is quite literally dying. Uh, Al, do what you want for, for now. Just just do what you want. Uh, if you want to go to sleep, maybe, yeah, just yeah, go to sleep. <laughs> uh, I don't know why you're so tired, but uh, fair play, fair play. Uh, everyone else is fine for the most part, but uh, Al was literally dead on her feet. Crow, why are you doing this exactly? Uh, oh, probably because everyone else was like dead or something. Uh, maybe don't do that. Maybe, maybe, uh, oh, you are still our best social. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Uh, let's maybe lower it in priority. Put it to three. So I want you to construct more than I want you to do that. Leave it to Jess. Jess can do it when, it, when he feels like it. I mean, feeding them is the only issue, right? Um, is Jess going to feed them? Yes, he is. Okay, he's actually going to feed them right now. I just don't want Crow to be wasting his time talking to these these bitches. I want him to be out here doing this. Uh, where are you going? Oh, you're going to get on the elephant. There we go. Yeah, ride that elephant and build build a wall while riding an elephant. What a what a oh look at him go. He's already chopping down more trees. Okay, I still want you to build this house though, Crow. Like, <laughs> I mean, I I could prioritize it, but at the same time, uh, I did tell you to build this wall as well, so I can't really blame you for that. Uh, also, Crow, I think, is our, uh, the guy who's supposed to be toiling away in the mines as well. Everything... Oh, Crow, are you okay? Why are you so upset? Is it because you have so much to do? Diverse thoughts. Oh, yeah, and you've... Oh, my God. At the same time, basically, Patonus and Tanya. Man, Crow really, really wants... He really wants some love, huh? And Maldry tried to convert Jess... Oh my god, he actually did quite quite a good job too. 100% down to 89. Jess, you're supposed to be convincing them, not the other way around. Fuck, Jess. We don't want you converting to tribal raid methodism, okay? God, these guys are so unhappy. I, 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 this, is, this is why we need to get them their own houses and stuff so they can be a little bit happier. What's this? Refuel rocket silo? I don't think that's what I wanted to do. No. Uh, refuel fuelable buildings. Patonis? Welcome to your new highest priority job and Al. Fur bed no longer. Oh, we've, we've moved it. Oh, well, now Jess is going to be upset because he has to sleep outside because we haven't built the actual house. We moved the bed. We didn't build the house for it. For now, don't move the other bed, okay? Um, oh, God, he's going to sleep outside in a fucking thunderstorm too. And there's fires everywhere. Oh! Oh, no. Uh, uh, guys, please get out of bed. Oh, it's, it's, oh, John. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's just a prisoner. It's fine. Uh, their depression is permanent. Oh, fuck. Uh, careful, please. Do not burn. Guys, that is a big fire. Uh, where is everyone else? What the fuck are you doing, guys? Stop sleeping. Jess, get out of bed. Oh, my God. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, Jess can't fight fire. Al, Patonis, anyone who can fight a fire. Okay, it's raining at least. That's going to help. Tanya would rather just eat some food than actually... Nope, she's just uh, currently going to rest, um, it looks like. All right, you know what, Crow? You know what? You know what I think you've earned after such a uh, stressful day? And Tanya is on an insulting spree. She's really angry at Al, apparently. She's like, I'll be the first one at your funeral, Al. Nope, didn't work. Uh, Patonus? Nope. Oh, fuck. Al is going to lose it as well. Al, run away. <laughs> Where, where's Al? Yeah, run away. Good good job. Just flee. Tanya couldn't reach Al, so she's decided to redirect her anger at Crow. 
Uh, please leave Crow alone. Oh. Your face is like a fist magnet, Crow. I look forward to attending your funeral, Crow. Leave this guy alone. Look how hard he's working. You're going to piss him off so much. Uh, you know what? Get get the fuck away from Crow. Just fucking get in there. Just leave him alone, okay? Uh, are we going to start refueling some of this stuff, guys? Yes? Good. Okay, good. They're actually doing it. They did prioritize it. Crow is, yeah, he's losing his marbles. Soaking wet, disturbed sleep times three. This is why we need their own rooms. Especially Crow. He needs his own room. Jess is still sleeping outside because no one's built the house yet. Oh, God. Uh, you know what we could do? Which could be quite helpful, actually. Uh, where is... Forbid. Just don't do that yet, Crow, okay? Do this. Okay, we'll leave it so it's still planned. It's just forbidden for now. We're not going to do it right now. We need to build this house. There we go. Look at that. He started building it. And now Jess has got food poisoning. All right, Jess. Good job. Uh, did you just eat raw meat? Are you... Uh, you're feeding hy hyena meat to the prisoner. Why is no one cooking food exactly? Oh, because there's no fuel in the, the stove. I mean, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Patonis, what are you doing? I mean, you're, it's not your job. Uh, Tanya, what are you doing? Is it your job? No, it's Al's job. Al is sleeping. Is, is, this, is this all that Al does? Whatever I look at Al, she's sleeping. Al, get the fuck up and refuel. Jess, put that high in the meat down. <laughs> we have a mediocre bedroom built. I thought it would have been a little bit better than this, but because uh, of this, I think it's just there's no furniture. And you know what? We can move that extra bed. And let's also get one of these wall-mounted torch lamps. And what I'm going to do, we actually have a hut blue. Oh, this was from the last village, wasn't it? Uh, well, we don't want this blueprint anymore because we've got a different hut this time. It's a bigger, a bigger hut. I guess we, yeah, we should get another one here. I kind of want to go for like, like a more organic look rather than like a grid pattern. Like, So we're not going to have them like just in a straight line. We'll have them like kind of more organically placed. So that's two colonists have a little... It is a barracks. It's not technically an individual home. Uh, I think two, two is fine, though. They're only going to disturb each other to go to sleep. They're not working in their, their house. So trying to manage these moods is, is, is rough. Tanya, what is wrong with... Oh, my lord. Uh, yeah, that'll do... Oh, uh, why is there an elephant in here? Do not ride the elephants inside the houses because they can't get out on their own. Get on the elephant... Write it out. Don't bring the elephants into the tiny houses, all right? They don't fit. I mean, they do somehow, but I don't want them in there. And we got a pack of corgis. Man hunting. Oh, my Lord. Uh, oh, 35. 35 man hunting corgis. I don't know how I feel about that. They're not attacking currently. They're just wandering. I mean, oh, God. They're going to all attack when Crow attacks them, aren't they? Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh, God, Crow. Oh. I mean, no. Kill them all. Uh, Crow, kill every single one of these stupid corgis. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely... This is glorious. You know what? Everyone else, you can probably just come outside again, to be honest. I think Crow's got this handled. Yeah, just go, go back to work. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they're not attacking. I'm very confused. So they're just doing their own thing i guess uh the game lied to me they said they were man hunting corgis but i think they're just regular old corgis look at them i mean they are they are infected with something because their bodies are like fucking rotting oh both of the prisoners are now depressive you know what these prisoners are not really worth keeping are they these two men have uh fought each other look they're rivals they hate each other they've they've fought each other already like 10 times but now, now we're going to see who's truly the champion out of these two sons of bitches. Uh, we have John and Amaldry. Crow is, is giving a big old speech. Look at this. They hate each other. They're staring each other down because of how much they hate each other. Just like, fuck you, you fucking son of a bitch, you fucking fuck. Look at this. Everyone's so ready for this this fight. We need an actual... Oh, okay. Oh, they're fighting. Okay. Uh, I mean, there is weapons. You can grab the weapons. Oh, oh God. Here we go. Look at this. Who's going to win? Oh, this is glorious. I mean, they're just staring each other off. Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh, John is is in the lead. Uh, he's, oh, they're going for weapons. Look at this. 
Oh, Crow, get out of the fucking arena, you bitch. What are you doing? Oh, he's, he's vomiting. Holy shit. This is incredible. John seems to have the upper hand. You are you are allowed to grab a weapon if you really want, guys. Like, you can, you can just pick one up. And Last time I ate, it was in a very impressive dining room. Man, that's what you're thinking about right now, Crow. These men are literally trying to beat each other to death. Oh. Yeah, you know what? No one's really gonna die when you're just punching the fuck out of each other. We need these weapons to be part of this shit, okay? John won the fight, so, uh, I, I, Brian? Oh, my God, they're trying to break out. Oh, you're not you're not getting out. Uh, you're gonna have to fight Crow, so good luck. <laughs> Maldry, you couldn't even fight this guy, uh, who has 14.47. I mean, this wasn't really a fair fight, was it? <laughs> he has three. Just fucking kill them. I really don't care. I'm not saying I hate you, but I'd unplug your life support to charge my batteries. Wow. Well, next time in the afterlife, maybe don't try and break out of your cell, huh? Ever thought about that? Oh, God. A group of Vikings from the Musk Ox clan have arrived nearby. They will attempt to burn your colony down, stealing whatever they can before they leave. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Uh, there are people who have, oh, it's, uh, it's crows on. Oh God. They are really, what the fuck are these? I thought they were, oh my God. They're explosive torches. Uh, Al is currently in bed. You know what, Al, you're not even that good at combat. So maybe that's probably for the best. Oh, uh, Tanya is a 0 0.87 in uh, shooting. So th that's something to bear in mind as well. Oh my God. They are really burning that wall. Ah, oh, she went all the way around. Look at that. Um, okay. Well, that's fine. There's only one on the inside of the wall currently, so try and kill her. I know you're not very good at shooting, but... Oh, you don't need to be that good. It's a buckshot round. Come on, yeah, there we go. Good, good, good. That is all I need you to do, to be to be honest right now. Just just uh, when they get close, shoot them. Oh, they're coming around. Okay, guys, get ready. They're on the flank. Uh, Jess, get ready to hold that line. And also, Petonis, don't worry about the fire right now, okay? It's fine. We need to deal with this, all right? We need to deal with this. Tanya... Be careful where you shoot. Please do not shoot the elephant. Wait. Oh, God. Please be careful. I don't want you to shoot our own. Oh, my God. That's it, Tanya. Yeah, one more. Ha! Huh. Oh, my God. Uh, Wait, did Crow just kill his own aunt? He did. Well, we won. They're running away. You know what? That's what you fucking get. Wow, Tanya actually came in clutch there with the shotgun. Uh, Surprisingly, I didn't expect her to do as well as she did. Uh, Well, you know what, guys? Good job. All around. All around good job. A wanderer wants to join. Guaracam. Willing to contribute, but would not leave voluntarily. Is this the old traitor again? Like the last one we had? I can't even fucking remember her name anymore. The original traitor back in uh, Tronaga Town. Remember that? So long ago. You know what? Sure. Might be a traitor. Might be a traitor, but she can help build the wall in the meantime. Tattered apparel. These colonists are wearing tattered apparel, which is making them kind of sad. Well, we did make this tailoring bench, so we can make some of this stuff. Uh, Crow also wants his deer skull hat, right? Uh, for, for for his job. The only issue, he's not going to be able to wear his cool helmet anymore if he's wearing that. But uh, he does want it, So, and we can't deny our chief. All right, they want some uh, clothes, so I guess we could we can make patch leather. Patch leather basically combines all of these extra leathers into. We'll make as much as we can, right? Um, and then I guess we'll make them some uh, tribal. I mean, they're, they're, we're still a tribe, right? Can we, uh, tunic. We get tunics. I mean, Petonis is getting to work on that shit immediately. She's making. Is that is that crow's hat? Yes, it is. Look at that. All right, Crow, uh, take a look at this. Uh, once you're ready, come, there you go. <gasps> look at that. Crow is wearing his fucking deer skull hat, uh, which is exactly what he wants. Oh my God, panic attack. He is having a panic attack and he's fled to his room. Fair enough, Crow. What are you doing? Why are you like shedding skin? Are you a vampire? I don't know what Crow's doing, but I'm kind of creeped out. It says he's just standing. You're not on your own, Crow. We're all here for you. There we go. Good. Uh, Crow is greedy. He needs a really impressive... Oh, my God. It, it permanently changed his character. Now he needs a really impressive bedroom. He gets a mood loss if he doesn't get what he wants.
Fine, we're gonna have to get an art bench and make him some art for his room. I mean, you know what, Crow? I'm glad it's you that wants this because I, I was gonna give you one anyway. If it was anyone else, I'd be like, no, <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting one. So we got about 300 gold, so we could get... How big are these? A torso-sized piece of material. If we make one real quick out of wood, just to see how big it is, because I want it to be a certain size. I don't want it to be uh, too big. Okay, we got it. Supreme image. How big is it? It's, uh, it is literally the size I want it to be. Okay, uh, and this is actually a decent one. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll pop this one down in here. That's just a shit one as well. Let's get two of them made out of solid gold for Crow's room. Okay, this should make his room really, really impressive. Sculpture number one is done. Beauty, what? My, uh, Tanya, you fuck, what did you do? How did you make a minus 22 artwork? Oh my lord, that is, oh, you fuck. You fucking wasted that gold? Oh, Tanya, what the fuck? Oh, is that all of our gold? What? I thought it was only a 50, right? Small volume. Oh, no. Oh, it requires 10 times as much. What a waste. I can't believe you did that, Tanya. We're going to have to sell that to a trader or something. We can't put that anywhere. Or it's going to ruin everyone's mood. It's that bad. Oh, my God. Al has spent... The time Al spent f fighting the deadly illness was enough time for self-reflection. She's developed the trigger happy trait. Oh, yes. Stalk. Uh, ba she's attacking Barry. She's... Oh, my God. She's... What the fuck? I'm not even speeding up time. That is... Oh, my Lord. Uh, <laughs> that, that was how fast she was moving at normal speed. Uh, I, uh, Crow? It looks like she's stuck uh, up in this corner. Oh, my God. She downed the elephant. Stork, you son of a bitch. I trusted you. I, I, I felt like you'd be a traitor, but actually, I did trust you. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're, we're going to... You, you're about to have to deal with Crow. So, uh, good luck. You didn't even have a weapon. And uh, Crow is on an elephant. Uh, so this should be probably very one-sided. If you survive, we'll take you, take you as a prisoner. But I don't actually... I don't think you have much chance here to be... Yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, well, you cut off her leg, so uh, that's something. I guess capture her. You brought this on yourself. First of all, take that crypto helmet off. You're not allowed it. Oh, yeah, we made the second sculpture. How's this one? Normal. 50 beauty. Okay. Uh, we'll pop that one in there with Crow as well. He's got a weird sculpture of... It's a carving of an elephant brutally harming Care Kastenberg with cold efficiency. Care looks solitary. The scene takes place in the middle of a township. Uh, th this representation tells the story of the elephant knocking unconscious Care on the 14th of April, May 5501. I remember that. That was in the Viking grave. That was Care Kastenberg was the Viking that we stole the crypto hatchet from, I believe. Um, so Crow literally has an artwork in his bedroom depicting that scene of of Kerr Kastenberg, the legendary Viking, being killed by <laughs> by an elephant. I'll tell you what, uh, I think we're going to finish here. We've, we've we've done quite a bit of work building here, really. We've, we've built, uh, I mean, <laughs> this wall. Um, we've, done a, we've done a bit. Not a lot of visual progress, I can see. I've got to be honest, when I'm looking at it, I mean, we've been going for a while, but uh, we've built huts. That's something. We've planned out uh, the wall. We have had uh, a couple raids and, uh, of course, uh, the manhunting corgis, which are now skeletal remains uh, out here in the field. Crow, of course, is now wearing a cool hat and uh, he has some cool artwork and stuff in his base. We are now working on, uh, unfortunately, enslaving Stork so that we can get her back to work on the old building because uh, we do want her to help build. And I can't be bothered to recruit her because, you know what, she's a traitor. She she betrayed us. We accepted her with open arms and she betrayed us. So uh, she doesn't deserve, she doesn't deserve to be recruited, right? Doesn't deserve it. Uh, anyway, uh, next time we will try and hopefully finish building this wall and uh, some other defenses and stuff. And uh, yeah, maybe get these moods up a bit. They're starting to get a bit better overall, I think. But... Still got a little bit of work to do before uh, everyone is truly happy. Oh, yeah, we also had a gladiator fight, and uh, the prisoners that were involved are now gone. 
uh actually they're not gone they are inside this mass grave which contains nearly 20 corpses so uh that's great anyway <laughs> i hope you guys did enjoy thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time